match the requested route to the list of routes in the routing table. So the router is matching the route to a controller and an action using the routing table. So the route is coming in from the URL and the router will look up the route in the routing table and if it finds a match we then have a controller and an action ready for the next stage of executing that action. And that is basically the only objective of the router of the routing step to get a controller and an action. So let's have a look at the code changes that we're going to make. Starting with the router, I've added a property to save the parameters from the matched route. We've added a match method, which will take the URL, which is what comes from the query string, and match this to the routes in the routing table. If it finds a match, it sets the property we just created and returns true. If it doesn't find a match, it returns false. And then at the end, I've added a function to get the currently matched parameters. So if we look now at the front controller, I've commented out the code for displaying the routing table that we did in the previous video. And now we're going to match the requested route. So this is the query string coming in that we saw earlier. And we're calling the match method to see if there is a routing table match for this URL. And if we find it, we're going to print out the parameters. And if not, we're going to say no route is found. And later we'll see how this will be the 404 not found message. So if we have a look at that in the browser, we have a route for the home page, which is the home class, the home controller, and the index action. We also have one for posts, and maybe to create a new post. So now we're matching these routes to controllers and actions. If we put in something that isn't in the routing table, we have no route found. And as I said later, this will be 404 page not found. So now we're matching routes to the routing table. If we have a quick look back at the match method, as you can see, all we're doing is a very simple string comparison. If the URL is exactly matching the route in the routing table, then we've matched the route. So this is basic route matching, but we'll look at more advanced matching in the next section.